Hi everyone! Today a quick episode still related to the Live View Push State support. In the previous episode we've seen uh, how to use the Live View Push State support, focusing only on uh, the Live Redirect function. The goal is to use Live View to change the URL without having uh, to change the location or refresh the page. And we've built two examples, uh, this one and another one where we have an animated uh, URL with emojis. In this first example we've built, uh, we have a list of thumbnails. When we click on a thumbnail, uh, Live View updates the page showing the full size image at the bottom. We've also used the Live Redirect function to change the URL using push state avoiding to refresh the page. In this way, we can bookmark or share uh, with a friend this specific page state. To trigger an event uh, when uh, clicking a thumbnail, we've used the Phoenix click and Phoenix value attributes. So uh, when a thumbnail, uh, so when a tag, this tag here is clicked, uh, we trigger the show event uh, passing the ID value. So we send this event, the browser sends this event and uh, the process, the live view process handles uh, this event with this function here uh, and sends a live redirect message back to the browser. Let's see better what happens watching the messages exchanged uh, between the browser and Phoenix. Let's go back to our browser and inspect the messages between the browser and Phoenix. I'm using Chrome, the Chrome uh, inspector, but with other browsers it should be similar. So we open the inspector and we go into the network tab, selecting WebSockets since the messages uh, go through a Phoenix channel, which is a WebSocket connection. So we refresh and we select this WebSocket here uh, with the uh, Phoenix Live View and we see already uh, a few messages uh, but let's clear these messages and click just one time a thumbnail. So we see uh, actually many messages and uh, we see that actually we can do better because these are a little bit redundant. So we see at first that uh, there is an event, the click event, uh, which is the one triggered by uh, Phoenix click. And we send this show event with this value to the server and Live View handles this event, uh, sending uh, the, a live redirect message back. Uh, we see a kind push. So this means that um, the, the JavaScript uh, Phoenix Live View library in our front end will push um, this new URL without any uh, page refresh. So then uh, we have a new link, uh, a new URL. So this URL is sent back to the server, which renders uh, the changes and sends back the changes. And the, this new picture is shown on, on, on the browser. So you see that there are uh, different back and forth. We can avoid uh, using uh, live link. The cool thing about Live Link is that we don't need to handle the click event ourselves like uh, we did here. You see that we send show and we and we handle the event. So we can delete uh, these two attributes and we can also delete this function. We keep this because we are going to use it in a second. So we delete this function and we're going to add so for each picture, we use live link to, and we use the same route. The only thing, the only difference is that we pass the socket and we put um, the, our tag inside this block, okay? And we add an end here, and this should be enough. 
Let's go see if it works. So we refresh and we see that it works. The interesting aspect is that if we now see the messages exchanged, when we click on a thumbnail, we see that only two messages are exchanged. So the first one is the browser that sends uh, the new URL and the second one is the uh, is a server that sends back the, the differences to be applied. In this case, uh, it was the, the same uh, image. So uh, you see that the response is empty. But if, uh, if we change the image, you see that uh, here we have the author and the, and the new image. We've seen how to use live link and that in this case it made the code simpler and we've also got less messages exchanged between the frontend and Phoenix. So when to use live link and when to use uh, live redirect. In this case, the user um, interacts with the, with the front end clicking the links. So in this case, uh, live link makes much more sense. So uh, in this other example though, uh, the one with the animated URL, there is no user interaction apart from uh, starting and stopping uh, the, uh, the, the animation. The new URLs uh, with different emojis are pushed every 100 milliseconds from the server. So uh, it's just one way communication from the live view process to the front end. And then we've used a uh, live redirect. If you have any question, please uh, leave a comment below. And if you're interested in Elixir and Phoenix, subscribe uh, to this channel and subscribe to uh, the uh, Poetic Coding uh, newsletter. Thanks for watching. Bye.